You know how people in their mid 40s buy a fancy car? You know the ones going through midlife crisis? I too went ahead and got myself a four wheeler. You know, the different kind. Guess what I just got? So huge. So let's just pause here for a moment. I got this package the day before, but as I'm a professional YouTuber with zero subscribers, I wanted to make a good unboxing video with good lighting. So let's open this. Speedboard from Piso. It's called the Dragonfly Skateboard and it's a complete set. Although you can get the board, the wheels, and everything separately, but I got the complete set. It's pre made and it costed me 6,200.99. But anyway, let's try this out. Let's try this. So I was too scared to go outside and try this in front of people because I was scared of embarrassing myself. So I just tried it out in my living room just to know how to balance myself. Oh my god, is that how I walk? No. Anyway, all I did was trying to get comfortable with the board and try to balance myself. Now that I am looking back, I see that the way I am placing my foot is massively incorrect. But you know, I was just getting comfortable and there I fall. Good. Anyway, with time, I was able to stand on the board on my own, so I just got a little more confident and I thought, why not? Why not go outside and just try this out? So I just gathered some courage and I was like, okay, I'll get dressed and I'll go out. Because I only have one rule, never be scared because nobody cares. So I just dressed myself from top to bottom because I did not want to get hurt if I fall down.
mixed like that was a little scary because if I put a little more force on one foot than the other, I could just slip away. And that's it for day one. When I came back home, I felt that even while I was walking, my feet were behaving as if they were skating. I mean, this happens quite often if you uh, cycled a lot one particular day and your legs still behave as if they're still cycling. So when I came back and I saw all those clips, it was actually a very good thing that I recorded the whole progression of one particular day. I could see how I was placing my foot. I could see all the mistakes that I was making. Obviously, it was day one. I'm bound to make mistakes. I didn't really fall on myself on the first day, but what happened was uh, while I was skating, I would just suddenly stop. I realized it might be because of my leg placement. So I think I should be placing my leg on a little more to the middle than to the front side that I did on that particular day, but I'm realizing that right now. But anyway, that was day one. Obviously, I had a little more control. I didn't lose shots, but yeah, I did. No, no, I did. I did lose a lot of steps, shots, whatever. I felt that I was still making the mistake of placing my right foot a little bit further than it is supposed to be. But anyway, my leg placements were a little better than yesterday. I had a little more balance. And yes, I learned how to flip the board and stand on it. That was... <laughs> I fell once. But thankfully, not recorded. But anyway, day two was fun, and for day three, I went to a different location. Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Now, well, here's something that you didn't know two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. I got my leg. So much 
Most of my college friends have told me that the first time they ever saw me, I was on a tree. Just like everyone else, I'm going through a quarter life crisis. Fancy cars are skateboards. Those dance classes you didn't take in your early 20s and 30s is me going to the children park. Although I did spend quite some time there. Because sadly, I don't know what a child my age does. I haven't been around one in a really long time. Most of us haven't. So maybe that is the reason why I spend most of the week trying to do things that a child third my age does. You know? They say that your 20s, especially your early 20s, are when you just start trying to figure yourself out. But what I feel is those years are just passing by so quickly. Just like those people, this is a desperate attempt on holding on to my youth. Darling, you 